Hi. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be going over uh, the new race, the microwave race. And I know this is a little bit late, but you know, we're going to get into it. Anyway, so we're going to go over a few things. We're going to go over, like, you know, what its abilities are, what it's like. Is it worth it to get, like, the previous video that I made on the uh, other? Of a race, which is the projector race, as you can see, like, you know, projects man, so and so. But, and I showed if they're worth it, I would, I would said in the short run, Titan projector man is definitely worth it. Also, yeah, I got checked out. Right. <laughs> so, we're gonna go over is it worth it? Is it better than the projector race? And should you get it? Now, we're gonna go over a few things. Now, to begin with, we're going to go over his abilities. We've got Flamethrower, we've got Double Blast, we've got Jetpack, Kick and Punch. Now, do you think that he should have gotten more? Like a core ability? I mean, look at the detail to this core. It's pretty good. They also gave pretty good detail to the character itself. They gave, like, you know, extra added to this. They could have just left it as, like, Titan Micro 1. But they gave it actual, some, like, good detail to it and stuff. Like, as you can see. Now, I made a suggestion a bit ago about the uh, Micro Titan. But I do think that was uh, a different kind of thing due to a different video. But, like, I showed it to the owner, sort of. Well, that was a bit ago. Yeah, you could even see the bloody effects on that. Yeah, there definitely should have been more abilities, most definitely. It is too well made. <laughs> so, let's begin with the Flamethrower, which is kind of powerful. I'm going to show you how powerful. At 10,000 health, it does exactly in the afterburn 5,100 damage with the blasters obviously doing how much? Also has a burning effect. So, 5,100 damage for the flamethrower and for the blasters Total of 2,200? No. Okay, way, way less. But it, yeah, it is good quite the amount. But yeah. <coughs> but let's just try it out with a different one instead. Let's try just Titan. Hold on. So let's try this, yeah. I am. We're not going to go for this guy, he's too powerful anyway. You go for this one. So he's got 2,000. We're going to do some quick math. How much damage do you do? In together. 2,000. You just come to the burning. Wow. 1,890. That is a lot of damage. Just from, like... How much of a cooldown? In a 5 second cooldown, you're doing 1,890 damage. Pretty much 1,900. You want to round it up, you do 2k damage in total. That is quite the amount. <laughs> Obviously, you've got the jetpack. Uh, I'm going to check if it has a special sound effect though. No, it does not. No special sound effects. Well, it does have a special uh, work effect though for with its really thing. Now, this is uh, 2.0, obviously, if you've seen this other shop. We're going to check out the other one. I'm looking wrong for this thing that happens. HP not at full. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Right, what ability do you have? You only got flamethrower. Right, let's see how much damage a flamethrower can do then. <coughs> Someone with 4,000 health. Wow. Uh, 3,300. That was 300 damage with the kick doing 150. And I'm pretty sure the damage for the kick for 2.0 is. Why am I looking there? It's also 200. Let's take a look. They do the same amount of damage, yeah. 
has a weird little glitch where you can just like hop on them and just start flying. Anyway, so <laughs> those two are the main ones everyone's going to be using. They won't be using the small ones like Microwave Man. Like, it's just going to do the same pretty much. We, we can even test it out. We even spawn a, a Titan, we we'll just like run over to it. I'm not sure how much damage it does. Probably die before it even. Yeah, it, it won 50 damage. That sounds like a lot. Go big throw. <laughs> not big throw, man. Yeah. 150. Oh, wow. 500 more. I do 500. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the other race, the other race projector, man. Which, if you forgot, I'll show you. That was way more abilities. A lot, a lot more flexible. They actually went all out like this. They even added a little something. I don't know if that was that before, but that's now purple. But yeah, it is. Why the power punch as well? Yeah. Uh, this is arguably more better. Reason Th this alone, that alone, or even just like <laughs> the big one, like I said before, these just alone are the reasons for why it's so good and powerful. It's because of this, it's because of that. That's what makes it so good and powerful. That's what's special about this character. More than anything else. You also give a lot of detail to the character as well. Which I like. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on its head. It would have, like, had a quick ability on its head. I mean, it already does. It's like, projects of last. There's no core ability. Fortunately. For which that would have been sick. But yeah, in my opinion, uh, should they be worth getting? Well, the flamethrower does 5,100 damage. That's a lot of damage. That's probably more than most. Hold on, let me just spawn clown toilet in. If they don't, if they don't kill it. That's already like 3,000 plus damage straight after that. And even so, that is a lot of damage to do. But, which one would it take you longer for you to go through Chaos Mode or Endless? I'd argue both, like, if you're playing Insane Mode, you're mainly the Insane Mode. You probably go very, very well. Probably a very, very long time with Microwave. And, obviously, you're going to go a lot longer with Projector because, you know, it's more flexible with all of these abilities. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has it. Oh, God. It doesn't have the same, uh thingy animation as the uh, other one, which I'm sorry about. We're gonna go over, okay. Microwave, is it better? Or is it worse than Perceptor? I think worse. Reason? Because Microwave Time 2.0 has not that many extra abilities. Not many. Other than just a blaster and that's basically it. That is literally the only extra ability you get. Given you do more damage, yeah, <laughs> a lot of damage, 1890, and 5100, that's a lot, a lot of damage you can do, but with this, you're doing like 3000, 1000, that's going to like, go up with more, that's going to go up with more, that's going to like 5000, 6000, if all these could come combine, you're doing a lot of damage anyway, that's, that's what makes it special. Now, is it worth it though? If you don't have a projector fan already, you just joined it, you've got the money, go for it. Just knock yourself out, go for it entirely. It's not exactly that difficult to get 35k, especially if you're doing like game modes like Endless or Endless Chaos or Endless Insane Mode. Either one, it's special. Special to get these, because they're only limited time offer. Once these are out of the shop, I think that that's around the same time as um, this leaves. I believe this. I believe the amount, like, when this goes, 
they're probably going to remove the chance of getting Titan Chairman and replace it with something else, like, you know, getting random Titan Glove Man or something. Who knows? Glove Man is such an underrated understatement. <laughs> Imagine that. But yeah. Is it worth to get? I would, I would say so. If you wanted to do a collector, yeah, go for it. But if you want, want to use it just to grind the entire time, I wouldn't argue so. Not argue so. And I'll, you should probably just like stick to uh, some tight, tight speed man 2.0. It's probably better. Even so, it's not exactly worth it. Anyway, discuss what it's good for. Discuss what it's about to tell. Discuss whether it's better. Think for race. Um, discuss whether it's worth to get. It. I'm saying no. No one's to get it at all. Anyway, see what you guys think. See ya.